And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Stony Shivana. I wanted to play this deck again. Basically, I wanted to play Stony Suppressor again. It's been a little while since we've played a Stony Suppressor deck. And this is uh, maybe my favorite version of a Stony Suppressor deck, because I think the important thing with Stony Suppressor is pairing it with Vanguard Bannerman um, for a couple of reasons. Basically, Stony Suppressor being a 2-mana 1-3 now it says that all spells cost one more. So therefore, you want a deck with not a whole lot of spells, right? So you want a lot of units. That just, that just kind of makes sense there. But then also, you want to be able to kind of be a proactive deck, which makes sense when you're playing a bunch of units anyway. But you want to be a proactive deck that that ends games somewhat quickly, because the longer you play a game, then the less the fact that the spells cost one, one more really matter. So if we want to play... So if that's the direction that we want to go with Stony Suppressor, and we want to play a good amount of units and be proactive, the fact that it has one power is kind of a hindrance to that right it's it's just playing two mana to, to put a one power thing into play that's not going to be very proactive that's not going to end games very quickly and so that's where vanguard bannerman comes into play because you can uh, grow your other allies plus one plus one and so now you turn that one power unit into being two power and now stony suppressor with two power is starting to become a much more um, realistic threat at two power maybe another banner makes a three power and so on so I think, I think the Bannerman growing the Suppressor is something that's important for Suppressor. Plus, if you're going wide, Bannerman can put a whole lot of um, power on a whole bunch of different allies as well. Now, we're going to be pairing that with some dragons. We got a new Shivana that's going to be attacking as a 5-5. Of course, Garen's going to be a 5-5. Um, we're barely splashing Targon just for Eclipse Dragon because of how powerful this dragon is. Um... Let's see, we got a couple of Egghead Researchers in here. Kind of the same thing. Egghead Researcher works well with Bannerman also. So like both Egghead Researcher and Stony Suppressor being 1-3s usually mean their bodies don't matter too much. But if we can start growing them with Bannerman, hopefully they can um, attack for more and put some pressure on the opponent. All right, so that's our deck. Let's uh, head on over to Ranked. And we're going to go play our five games. Ooh, Shenfiora. This could be tough. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so if I... Um, basically, do I want to keep Dragon Guard Lieutenant? I'm going to keep the other three. Yeah, I think so. I don't have a dragon right now, but... Maybe I mulligan the Protégé, honestly. Cool, there's a dragon. But I was going to say that the Dragon Guard Lieutenant does um, match up against Fiora pretty well. Yeah, maybe I should mulligan the protege. River shape the land and give it life. Hey, Violet. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. The fight just isn't the same without you, Lana. I am always here when you need me. Okay, so they get to strike and draw a spell. Form will the waters take? Who does not know the name? I don't want to play this other stony suppressor. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Run them through. Hard. There. Ready weapons. They have sharp sight. Look lively, soldier. I guess it's definitely possible they have sharp sight. I hope not. But to like you know now like they're four mana barriers. Hmm. A gift from the river folk. A disgrace. Do you have sharp sight? I long for a 
of the opponent. One banner, one destiny. Enforced equilibrium. On go! Sweep them away. Protect and strike. Interesting they're attacking with all that. Don't back down. What form will the waters take? That river shaper drew three cards, and that's you know kind of the difference here. Those those three cards, otherwise we'd basically be even. You're covered. All right, so Sharp Sight trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. With Sharp Sight and Challengers with Barrier. They probably have, you know, they, their deck has tons of four mana spells, so they probably just only have four mana spells left. They don't get to play them with the, that Sony Spresser in play. Of course, now they can, but. Our wills align. So I think it's I think it's pretty unlikely that we win this game. Still, just how that River Shaper, you know, like as you can see, they have five cards in hand, right? So it's pretty unlikely that we won't win this. Uh, best case, best chance is going wide this next turn, like that. For justice, for Demacia. Good. Um, but that protects against judgment, but they can still have judgment plus barrier, I guess. So it doesn't really protect against judgment that well. I think I have to just go for it and hope they don't have judgment plus barrier. Or deny. You know, like they. So basically, I just, I'm just hoping they don't have judgment. The thing is, like, I could play Screeching Dragon, which is better. Like, Screeching Dragon. Yeah, it just makes sense to play this. Because it, it just protects against judgment. Because, like, what... Because if they're, they're playing... Yeah. Yeah, it just makes sense to play this. In a long path to get you. Protect and strike. Hmm. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't have judgment anymore. Right. Okay. So yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and, and <clears throat> that's true. Life because of life steal barrier, got to put them. Yep, life steal barrier, got to put them over there. Yeah, so I can have Garen and Sithria fight, but that doesn't really. All that does is like that. Their sh basically their Shen would stay alive. The Sithria would die. Guess I I don't even know if this is like worth it. It did. All I'm doing is just switching who dies. Like that's that's all that does. They gain they gain seven less life, but that just switches who dies. Like they still have their their thing, and I still just left with these two. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burden. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have used that single combat right there. That was dumb. That's all right. Good warm-up game, still. No. Either one of those sharp sights, if they didn't have either of those, you know, if they only had, if they had, you know, zero sharp sights, we definitely win. If they only had one sharp sight, we'd probably win too. They need to have both sharp sights. Like the only card because of my, my uh, stony suppressors were shutting them down. But they did. Let's keep these other three. 
Cool. Night flowers upon my blade. So I'm not going to be playing Bright Seal Protector on turn two. Ooh. Well, now we can play Egg Egghead Researcher. I was planning on keeping Sharp Sight. Should have. <laughs> Man, things are just. I will be heard. Things are not working out. I was just planning on keeping sharp sight, and then I draw this egghead researcher, and I just fall for it. And I just play the egghead researcher, and. Ugh. Daylight hey, John. The heart and lights the way. All right, well, this hasn't like this could not have gone any worse so far, but we got some dragons at least. No more hiding. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So we have the the tournament is next week, next weekend for the um you know for the seasonal tournament and we'll, I've been thinking about what I've decided that basically I'm going to just be <clears throat> um how you get to ban a deck I'm always going to just ban the invoke deck I was looking at yesterday our win against non invoke and, and invoke were you know completely different. His invoke decks are pretty good. Sunlight blinds. So I was thinking about going sharp sight there. I put the sharp sight like on the Shivana to keep them from stunning the Screeching Dragon. I kind of decided that's not really worth it. Just gonna hold on to uh, sharp sight. Oh, thanks, John. Coming on over from YouTube. Awesome. Happy to have you over here on Twitch too. Thanks, Grace Claw. Truly am. They will know you in all your faces. much to learn in defeat. You seem like you've got a lot. The double spelling. A symbol worth fighting for. Ready weapon. Suffer my fury. Mm-hmm. Feels bad not playing Garen first. Our light grows brighter. Let's go with the repost. We'll go with the sharp sight. So we got two hush out of their hand. Um, we haven't seen any invoke cards from them yet. They played two Solari Priestess and a Traveler, so they're gonna have they have three invoke cards still. So they're gonna have some good power in their hand. Moonlight guide me. Don't get the fury. <clears throat> that is a dragon hitting for a lot of damage. So 
How am I attacking next turn? Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so you can challenge you. And you all attack. Down to six. Just one strike by Garen. Maybe I should have had Garen fight that one one. Maybe I should have had Garen fight that one one. So they still have the three invoke cards, which I which are three of these four. Not sure exactly which one's not the invoke card. Or no, because they have four invoke cards now. I guess those are all invoke cards, aren't they? Yeah, those are all invoke cards. My shield is yours. They can't play anything, so then I strafing strike. Dang, I guess this deck could have ruination, but I'm not I am not playing around ruination at all. I I don't expect them to have ruination. I should just get rid of the spell shield. My strafing strike is fleeting, you know, like I might as well play it. Well, I want Garen to level up. I don't think it will though, yeah, I didn't think so. But if, if Garen would level up, we'd get the attack token. But yeah, I guess I guess I, yeah, I could have put it on one of these two dragons to heal them. I don't think there's really any way they're stopping me. Okay, there is not. GG's. One and one. That is the way to beat the invoke decks, is to pressure, you know, put a bunch of big things out, pressure their life total fast. Okay. Karma Thresh. I like our chances here. Good cards, but mm, the one drop, two drop. Can we just start it? Hmm. We'll just try a new hand. It's not like I dis I didn't dislike that hand, but I wanted you know, a little bit faster hand. Hapless aristocrat. Aristocrat, Aristocrat is a good, annoying blocker. I taste purple. Yay. Into the forest. He got zone low. Dragon's rage claws to get out. Claws to get out. This was a good curve. So we have Garen next turn also. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Harry, repost. You are toast. Aha. Honor guide me. All right, good tasty fate, folks. But got through both of those. Four twos are good blockers. Mm. So 
So this is a Ruination deck, so, that's, so that is something I need to play around. Looks like I could go Garen, but I go Garen, they go Ruination. Let's see, if I go Garen and they go Ruination, which is, of course, the worst case scenario. We still have five cards and they still have five cards, and I have one of my cards is the Eclipse Dragon. Of my mind, monster. So even worst case scenario, that's still not bad. The wicked must fall. My steel is yours. Hope they don't have another one damage spell. Oh, definitely would have been better at Sharp Sight. Perfect. Not another one damage spell. Alright, get that healing back. Maybe don't need to play into Ruination now. Could just go to my turn and attack. Um, or I could play Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Tough call, tough call. What's the fire breath this time? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. Ah. Uh, should have gone to my turn. That was a very good pass by them. Risky, because I could just attack. But that was... That was a great ruination by them. Ionia speaks through me. Okay. This game's getting pretty even. I really want Nightfall on this Eclipse Dragon, so we're gonna wait until we can have Nightfall with it. Which could be now. They cannot cast Ruination this turn. So I could just I could just throw out Sharp Sight and then play Eclipse Dragon. It sounds like the thing to do. Yeah, it sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Basically turning that sharp side into a draw two. Well, that serpent's really cool. We burn, then kindle a new. And they are very patient. That's another time they just passed to me and let and let me go to my turn when they just had that. Heart and mind as one. In hand, I mean that that played around. You know, if they would have just played that first, you know, would have concerned strike it. So it did play perfectly around concerned strike. Very patient. Uh, it's really paid off for them this game. Come from the dark. This will kill my Screeching Dragon, of course. But they won't heal six. Hey, what's up, Choo Choo? Yeah, they, they played this very well. Screams of miscall. See, 
Yeah, the screams of missed call. I mean, not not deny. I mean, why why would you make this attack if you just have deny? Like, why would you attack with your karma if your plan is deny and just throw a rekindler in front of Imperion? Make sense. I mean, my opponent just played this perfectly. They have played this perfectly. Return to us. One candle for every sun. My only hope. That's gonna be a lot of cards burned. They just played that perfectly. The ruination, both times they passed me where if I would have just gone back to my turn, you know, like we probably would have won if I would have just done it either time, both the ruination and the rekindler. I got punished really bad. No dragon, but uh, yuck. I was to say I can't I can't uh, pass up the, the two mana card. I need uh, some cheaper cards against Callista Nocturne and you know Fearsome is gonna be a big part of their deck, so like having a you know the three two is still just good against Fearsome. Just gonna pass. I don't really need to challenge that thing. We shall pierce their treasonous hearts. I like that protege draw. So I'm at 17. A symbol worth fighting for. Cascade is always so great. Forget about that card. Now that Callista's at two for leveling up. Still gotta like gotta like my chances. With just putting five fives and four fives in this matchup. My heart and sword for the I like my chances. Fear is the first of many foes. Cool. Not another pill cascade. Oh, Kalissa's Black Spear. Our manifested in you. For justice for Demacia. So I went to level up Garen. Mm. 
That was their that was their best hit. So that was their hit with Stalking Shadows. They have another ephemeral Wraith Caller. That was their best hit there. I don't like this block by them. I think they should just take the five damage and have like if their plan is like Wraith Caller go wide, you know, keep that two one for like attacking with all this stuff. Stay resolute. I, I don't think that there's much difference between twenty and fifteen. I don't think that was a good block. Yeah, like if I'm them, I'm just attacking with another 2-1 here. Also. Hold fast. Oh wait, it's just lethal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just lethal. So. Dang. I messed up that game. I, I messed up that game with the challenges. Not playing around Pill Cascade. I don't really like these like little tiny two health things against you know avalanche, withering whale plus little pings and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna mulligan those things. So I definitely think that both of those last games were winnable, um, but every decision I made kind of backfired the last two games. So that's frustrating, but. Uh, let's try to finish it out with a win at least. This will be our first losing record in a while. Follow the tracks. Guess I must have had some rust with taking yesterday off. Guessing they're thinking about Avalanche. No. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Let's talk about your attack. It's a good card. I don't really know what they're thinking about. Okay, there we go. So many years, so much misery. Yeah, that... the sentry is just perfect. You know, like it's it's so hard to play around these cards, and then also like a, and around ruination. I am watching you, dragon. They cannot have ruination this next turn, of course. Um, because of the Stony Suppressor. But still, this game hasn't gone very well for me. I'm not sure if I like where we're at. You and I have been before, haven't we? So this is going to level up Shivana. Never mind. They are nothing. It doesn't really matter if I have the Shivana attack deal damage second, it's not doesn't level it up. I should be working, right, Breeze? Such fascinating creatures. No. These are not very good dragons. Definitely wanted, you know, the uh, the Eclipse Dragon would be the best one. 
but even uh, in Violas Vox would be second best. Even heck, even Cadrogen. Take that. These are those are the worst two. This'll take the chill off. Wings before. Open attack just isn't really that good. I'm gonna play this firebrand. Uh, open I'll attack spot. got worse. Alvaro's and Sentry is such a great card. Ready the torches. I'm not really sure why you would block a regeneration thing and not the thing that doesn't regenerate. I guess. Plus the... Yeah, I'm not really sure why you would do that. Stay resolute. Something ancient stirs. Really hope they don't have a miss call. Basically, not wanting them to remove the spell shield on the fused firebrand. Gross. Just gonna have two extra spiders. Two extra spiders for blockers. No, I'll be I'll be very surprised if we win this game. This this looks pretty bad for me. Cause just just one ruination and I got I got nothing left. I've got meat bigger than you. So they if they never have ruination, then we have a chance. This this double spiders for more blockers was a pain. For sure. This looks like a lot worse matchup than the other two. The the last two that I feel like I should have won. This looks like a much more difficult matchup. What's up, Far Cry? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. And there's no miss call. I mean, there's just no reason to block. That's what, like miss call. Even without miss call. Fury burn in me. I just can't get they play they play great defense. I can't get through this. The Shivana should be after these this time. I protect this place. 
such naivete. I will endure. I would have dealt one extra damage. Like these these things. Like sharp sight sharp sight saving like any of these things doesn't matter. I could repost and save this, but then that this is still dead. Witness my true power. Yeah, I, I really should not have thrown away my fight spells when I did. Alright, finally a good card. But game over. Impossible. Okay, so that just didn't work out. You know, sometimes you know recently everything's been kind of working out for us. Like we've we've been doing really well with all of our decks and, and everything. This just didn't work out. That is um that last one that's going to be a really difficult matchup that i don't really expect us to win that often because they because we don't really have like overwhelm or elusive or things like that we just have you know very big efficient threats and they have just perfect blockers with vile feast hapless aristocrat um avaros and century and things like that and then even a, and then they get to anivia which is a perfect blocker anivia uh punishes you for going wide but then they also have you know your avalanches and ruinations that's a nightmare matchup. So okay, no, no, no harm in losing that. I don't expect to win that one too often, but the karma and the uh, the fearsome matchup. I think both of those. I think those are both good matchups, and so losing both of those was pretty frustrating. Um, it seemed like every decision I made ended up being uh, ended up getting punished, uh, especially against that karma player. They they played perfectly. Um, and, uh, yeah, really walked me into, uh, overextending a couple of times or just, just playing the wrong card. And, uh, uh, let's see. And then, yeah, like the fearsome, uh, matchup. I, if, if I knew exactly how that was going to play and I just replayed that matchup, I think I could have won that one too. But anyway, um, you know, like I, I think I should have, I think I should have blocked on turn two to start with, and um, yeah, I, I think I could have done better with that one. But that's how it goes. Uh, it's not this game's not easy. You're not going to just have things hand to you. Got to play real well. Um, as far as our deck goes, I think it, it did. You know, it, it looked okay. It looked like we could have like a little bit better late game, or I don't know. It was, it was missing something. I don't know exactly what, but it felt like it was missing something. Maybe it was just, um, maybe what it was, all it was missing was me sequencing differently. Um, Stony Suppressor was okay, but wasn't spectacular. All right, anyway, that's that's what I got, though. That's Stony Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and please, please leave those comments. I really appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.